Hey guys, I get a lot of questions on how do you do what you do? How do you get into private security contracting? And those are actually two very different questions. So I'm gonna try and answer both of them for you guys today. And the question of how do you get into private security contracting? Guys, I get, as it says on the contact section of my website, I get people emailing me every day trying to work with me or put in a job application. I get people commenting on YouTube and Instagram and sending me DMs on Facebook. Guys, that's not the way to go about getting into private security, okay? First off, you never want to go about it that way. Um, second off, what I do is not traditional private security contracting. It's very far from it. Um, you can tell from my surroundings right now, I am uh, definitely not in a place that's extremely common. So first off, I'll just tell you, I stopped on this little hike right here. Um, I am pretty far out into Moab, Utah, and just really getting some great time out in, in um, basically in mother nature. And I figured I'd stop and film a little video for you guys. We're out here doing some trail riding and other things as well. So uh, that's what the whole scenery and backdrop for right now is. But anyway, okay, getting into private security contracting. All right, what you wanna do is you wanna work your way up, right? The easiest way to be a private security contractor in the classical sense is to have military experience. Points go up, you know, it's easier to get it. It's easier to get in if you have combat experience. It's easier to get in if you have some sort of special operations experience. It really doesn't even matter if you, if you have special operations experience of any kind. It really doesn't even matter if you're good at what you do or if you know what the heck you're doing at all. Just having special operations experience will open the door for all kinds of private security jobs. And, you know, that's really unfortunate, but it is what it is. So if you guys want to try and go the easy way to get into private security contracting, then just go in the military and try and get some either, you know, any of the branches that are considered special operations. And then also combat experience is huge. So that's one way that you guys can get into private security contracting. The real you know, everything's professional, be professional, build a resume, work your way up. And the way you really get into it and get the good jobs, so to speak, is through word of mouth. So as you get in at a beginning level and you work your way up and you build a reputation, then for example, me, all of my contracts, all of my jobs, anything that I do is all word of mouth. It's all recommendations from other people who I've worked for or worked with. And now, to answer the question of hiring, I only hire people that were either recommended by people that I've worked with or work for or in that area. If, if I work with a guy or trust a guy and I need another guy, I'll ask him. You don't just take applications when your life depends on your job, okay? It's, it's a very different, it's, it, they call it the good old boys club sometimes, very, clo very close-knit community. Now, I'll talk a little bit about more about what I do and what I do is so much further outside the spectrum and what I do is basically um, I have a skill set and my skill set is available for hire okay and it's not private security contracting because I'm not a you know private security contractor for some big company I own my own business I only work for myself I only take contracts that I believe in and Guys, it's very different. I'm not a I'm not a Blackwater, uh, you know, stereotypical. Even though that company is not in existence anymore, you know, I I I, get, I even ha I've had a lot of guys that that have tried to work with me, or even guys that I know that I just don't really fit the mold of what I do. And I've sent them to companies like Constellus Holdings, and you know, that's easy to get into. Those jobs, if you have military experience, those those companies are easy to work for. So if that's what you want to do, then do that. But when you guys say, how do I do what I do? It's very different. You know, I've built a niche for myself and I'm the only one that does what I do. So, you know, I, and I don't just do private security contracting. I do, you know, a lot of different things involved with, you know, like I said, a skill set. I have uh, a skill set of, you know, being able to go off road and do navigation and being able to, you know, be out and comfortable in an environment like this and survival skills and, you know, all kinds of different skills other than just have gun, will travel that many people assume or people will say, oh, you know, 
he's a mercenary or he's this or he's that but you know guys it's just not that simple and I told you guys I would put this video up how to get into private security contracting the answer to that question is work your way up join the military if that's if you want to get the, get in the quickest and easiest way join the military don't do what I do guys my life is based off of a lot of bad decisions and surviving a lot of altercations where a lot of my friends are dead a lot of my people I've worked with are no longer with us you know I've got a lot of uh, a lot I've had a lot of really bad stuff happen to me as you guys know I've been illegally arrested in foreign countries I've been put in prison for in foreign countries even though it was a complete violation of my rights I've been tracked through multiple foreign countries by Interpol and the US government because of what I do and although nothing of what I do is illegal it's just when you do what I do it puts a big target on your head okay I've still got people from that 2005 shooting that have that have wanted to kill me since then and that have money out on my head and it doesn't go away so guys you know don't necessarily go the the cool route or what looks cool it's not it, it's not always the best way to go there's a lot there's two sides to this story and then the other side of that story is if you do want to do something unique that nobody else does like what I do then go out there and build it for yourself make it happen you know there was no how-to book to do what I do there's no explanation or way to say you can do this or do that the only real way to do it is go out there and make it happen nobody's gonna believe in you everybody's gonna tell you it can't be done People have been telling me from day one that it's not possible to do the things that I do, that it will never happen. I'm here doing it, and that's the way to do it, guys. I'm just going to tell you, go out and chase your dreams. Don't send, don't comment on somebody's Instagram and say, how can I work for you? Don't comment on YouTube and say, hey, man, I'd love to work with you. That's not the way to do it. Make it happen. I went to down to Central America on just knowing some contacts down there and some guys I had worked with before and on some small gigs and made built a, a business down there built a center of uh what i now have as the as the latin america headquarters for bone tactical made all that happen with nothing didn't speak the language went down there no english now i speak spanish so i mean guys you have to do it you have to do what people tell you can't be done you can't step one foot in you got to take over you got to jump off the cliff you got to step out it's it's sink or swim guys and it's it's fly or fall okay there's no two ways about it there's no easy way and it's hard work and doing what doing it and confidence ultimate confidence guys you know you adapt and overcome and find a way bone out